All right, so we're going to be talking in this video uh, how Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 8 proves the Torah has been corrupted. So Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 8 reads, How can you say we are wise when we have the law of the Lord, when in actuality the lying pen of the scribes has made it <laughs> into a lie? Uh, Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 8. So Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 8, uh, the scribes of Jeremiah's time are accused of corrupting the Torah. This is admitted to and confirmed by even Christian scholars and commentators of the Bible. We read uh, uh, Bright, uh, the Discover, Discover God Bible, um, in 2007, he writes that Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 8, says the lying pen of the scribes has made it into a lie. Scribes, sometimes translated as secretaries, were not responsible to interpret or teach the law until post-exilic times. Ezra chapter 7 verse 11. In Jeremiah's day, scribes primarily wrote and transcribed documents. Jeremiah chapter 36 verse 32. Teaching was done by the, uh, by the priest. De Deuteronomy 33 uh, verse 10 was done early. Therefore, this verse could be understood that the scribes have purposely made um, false, uh, inaccurate and false, um, inaccurate and false uh, scrolls. So Adam Clark basically confirms this too. Notice what Adam Clark says. Adam Clark was a Protestant scholar on the Bible. He says, the pen of the scribes is in vain. The deceitful pen of the scribes, they have written falsely, though they had the truth before them. It is too bold an assertion to say that the Jews have never falsified the sacred oracles. They have done it again and again. They have written falsities when they knew they were such. This is Adam Clark's commentary on the Bible. Uh, on he's writing, he's commenting on Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 8. So notice what Adam Clark is saying. He's saying there were people who tampered and corrupted the Torah. Uh, we read the Bible in Living English, page 9. Uh, sometimes uh, we read that sometimes even intentionally, sometimes even intentional changes were made. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 8 says that in Jeremiah's time, the commonly accepted copies of the law of Moses were so incorrect as to contain substantial falsehoods. Jeremiah's words, Jeremiah's words seem to mean that the false matter had been willfully put in, put in, and it would be hard to prove that our copies of the law are not made from the ones that were commonly accepted in Jeremiah's time. So notice what notice what this uh, Christian editor is saying. He's saying that the copies. Uh, the, top, the copies of the Torah during Jeremiah's time were so corrupt, so incorrect, that they contained substantial falsehood. So, um, and notice what he says, he says that our copies of the law are not made from the ones that were commonly accepted. It would be hard to prove that our copies of the law are not made from the ones that were commonly accepted during Jeremiah's time. So this guy is, this Christian editor is basically admitting that uh, the Torah was corrupted during Jeremiah's time. Again, these are all Christian scholars saying these things. These, none of these scholars are atheists. These are all Christian scholars saying these things. Dr. James Smith, a Christian biblical scholar, comments on Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 8. Among the wise men, the scribes were single out for special comment. The scribes were men who could write. The pen, Hebrew, et, was probably made from a reed. The scribes, of Jer the scribes of Jeremiah's day were as corrupt as a priest and prophets. Somehow, though, their writings, they were attempting to nullify the written word of God. Perhaps they were publishing false teachings of the prophets and priests. Some have proposed that these scribes were even guilty of altering the very text of the word of God. Whatever they were doing, these perverse scribes were distorting the truth. So uh, Dr. James Smith is basically saying that the scribes in Jeremiah's day were corrupt as the priests and prophets and were corrupting and were adding falsities and their own interpretations to the Torah. So the conclusion we can draw from reading Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 8 and from these uh, biblical, these Christian commentators on the Bible and what these Christian commentators have to say or these Christian scholars have to say about Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 8 is in Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 8, Jeremiah was affirming that the scribes have corrupted the Torah. Even Christian scholars and commentators of the Bible agree that the Torah was altered, edited, and corrupted by the corrupt scribes of Jeremiah's time. Thus, the Torah that we have today is not the same as the book or the Moses' Torah and is man-made and filled with lies and false teachings of the prophets and the priests. 
So, Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 8, is talking about the corruption of the Torah, and uh, that the text of the Torah was so corrupt, so incorrect uh, during Jeremiah's time, that, you know, it's, it's very possible that those corrupted uh, texts are what we have in the Torah we have today, since uh, the scribes of Jeremiah's time were copying it, even after Jeremiah died, uh, they were copying a corrupted and edited Torah.